2020 has been a year of challenges and extreme pressures, but it has also been the year the NHS and its professionals have risen to that challenge. Throughout the pandemic, the BMA has been proud to be the leading voice for our members, proud to take swift action on your behalf. Uh, simple equipment such as having eye protection, because we know the infection can be transmitted through the eyes, uh, is, is not available in 60% of GP practices. Demanding urgent measures to supply enough PPE to GP surgeries and hospitals, securing the right to remain in the UK for families of overseas doctors who lose their life battling COVID-19, winning support for a government inquiry into the impact of COVID-19, securing death in service benefits and a risk assessment framework to ensure vulnerable and BAME doctors are better protected, as well as providing 24-7 emergency support. In March, we secured unprecedented reforms to pensions annual allowance taxation. I've listened to concerns from all sides of this house that the pensions tax system is preventing doctors from taking on more hours. We gave members a voice via our first virtual ARM and provided over 1,000 medical students with a virtual freshers' fair as they start their careers. For those in need, we donated over £332,000 to charities supporting doctors through COVID-19. To address the biggest challenge the health service has faced in a generation. Together, we can beat this. We delivered over 850 care packages to healthcare workers across the country. Although the challenges we still face are great, all healthcare workers should take immense pride from what you've achieved in 2020. Your efforts have never been more needed. Throughout 2021 and beyond, we will continue to support, protect and represent you, so you can look after us all.